So that's our mango, just it. What's up everybody? I'm Luke with Ride Bikes More and today I am in Houston, Texas at City Hall for the tour, the Houston. Remember to follow on Instagram and YouTube if you're not already following because it makes you feel good. Uh. I am here with Eileen. She is one of the organizers of the event. Eileen, thank you so much for taking some time out to talk to me about the event. Absolutely. Well, our office is the Mayor's Office of Special Events. We focus on all civic celebrations and showcasing the city of Houston and all of its great potential. So the Tour to Houston, one of our goals is not just to show the parts of inner Houston, but greater Houston as well. Just like today, we've gone out to Cyprus. And every route, this is my 13th route that I have planned, 13 different routes every year showcasing different parts of Houston. 20, 40, and 60. I rode the 60. My advice is train for the event <laughs> and come prepared. My legs are killing me. So we want to make sure that, you know, this is a practice ride for the MS-150, but that anybody, kids, families, also have an opportunity to do this ride and, you know, potential future riders for the MS-150. So the 20 route is our, is our family friendly route, you know, um, or for just for folks that just want to see parts of Houston. And, you know, we want to make sure that we target every audience possible to accommodate them. We try to make sure that our route is as secure as possible. We have uniformed officers at all signalized intersections. Yes, you are riding with traffic. However, we do have rules of the road. You are a vehicle on the road. And so not just the security officers on the route, we have about 80 ride marshals each year that sign up that are all along the route to make sure that you're safe. If you have any issues, they're there to help you and to support you along with nine to 10 sag wagons throughout the route that'll help you if you get a flat tire, you're just a little too worn out. And you know, you can hop on a sag wagon, they'll take your bike back or take you to the nearest rest stop. And each rest stop, we are fully equipped with hydration beverage. This year we had Bang as our sponsor. We've got water, we've got fruit, we've got sweet and salty snacks, we've got pickle juice, all the restrooms where you don't have to wait in line. <laughs> and you're just, we turnkey each rest stop. Um, the rest stops are about 10 to 12 miles, um, every 10 to 12 miles. So if you want to bypass one, you'll, you'll hit the next one. Is there any other messages uh, that you want to bring up or speak to? I think, you know, just for next year, we'll be back. Um, we hope to see, we're, you know, post-pandemic, hopefully it will definitely be post-pandemic next year and, you know, get our numbers higher. We're glad that we had the turnout that we did today, which was phenomenal. But I know there's tons of riders out there. You know, we, we did change our date this year from March to April, uh, but we will be sticking to this April date. So just know that and prepare. For next year and registration will be open sometime in 2023. How can people find out more about the event? We have our website at uh, tortahouston.org. Um, you'll find photos, you'll find uh, details, maps. We haven't posted for next year yet but that information is to come. So, And there is a registration fee um, and you have to buy the t-shirt. I think it's a great design. Yes, the registration fee um, I believe goes up incrementally every week from the point that we announce um, the most the highest registration fee would be fifty dollars currently t-shirts are ten dollars we also have commemorative jerseys um, that we have with peak one sports so it's a different design for each year awesome i could not have said it better luke for ride bikes more and we are out <laughs>